Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We're doing a recap of our first four boxes that we did off camera of 2020 Topps Heritage Baseball. Then we're going to break this retail in front of you. We have two hanger boxes, one blaster box, and two value or fat packs. So we're going to do that in just a moment. But we're going to show you what we got out of the four so far that we broke off camera of our hobby boxes. So let's get into that. Yeah, so I'll show you out of our case here. This is one of the boxes. So I just have the short prints here up first sleeved. Um, so there's your ASPs that you get. Um, our inserts. So two candlestick, one then and now. Two new age, two flash, three fat flashbacks. Um, then we have a white border of Marco Gonzalez. And the, these, they only print 50 copies 50, of, I yep, believe. Yep, so. 50, yep. Pretty short print there, which is cool. Um, this is a nice card, a Tatis Action variation, which is cool. Um, you can see the back there says Action right up top. Code's going to be different as well, so that was a pretty nice hit. Um, I like his signature too, kind of a funky auto. So, Keston Hiria Game Worn Relic um, was the hit out of that one, and a Willie Smith uh, 50th Anniversary Original Box, box Topper. topper so. Yep. That was box uh, number two of our case, number one that we opened off camera. Go to the next one here. Um, got the eight other short prints that we got out of this one. Nice Ben Tendy short print, which is cool. Charlie Morton. Um, two flashbacks, two candlestick parks, two new age performers, and two then and nows in this box. Um, this was definitely the worst box we've opened of this stuff. Um, it had a Mitch Hanniger relic, which is nothing special. It did have this Alex Bregman silver team name variation. As you can see up top here, the team name is silver. Um, and it also says silver right here. I'm not exactly sure what the print run on is on these, yeah, but I, I don't, don't know either. think it's very big. No. Um, I think they're pretty short they're printed. But pretty, uh, I can't remember what the odds are, but they're pretty difficult to pull. So. I want to say it's like 200 something to pull yeah. on. So 200 packs that is. So there's the next one. Um, I'm going to hand these to you. And oh, and also out of that one, we did get a box topper, super baseball box topper of Christian Yelich, which are cool looking. Um, there's the back, just a big version of the card which is pretty cool all right next up we had our next box got degrom soto velar escobar electric and yastrzemski our inserts here oh and one more sp i guess jd davis <coughs> um and then the hits that we got out of this one were a schwarber relic javier baez action Variation. Danny Santana Chrome, numbered out of $9.99. And a Lourdes Guriel Jr. French text. So easy way to tell these. Code's different. Um, they have a yellow back, which will stand out really quickly if you just yes, flip the yeah. cards over. Um, and that side's in French. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> pretty simple. Pretty easy to identify if you are just looking at the backs of the cards. And here is the box topper we got out of this one. These are cool. New this year. One of the game's greatest moments. Um, Fergie Jenkins. That's pretty sweet. And this next box was a really, really good box. So excited to show you guys this one. Um, had one of the bigger hits we've ever pulled out of Heritage in it. So Meadows, Lester, Riley, Chavis, Kepler, Freed, and Senzel. Willie Mays, Willie Mays, Willie Mays. Flashback, flashback, flashback. New Age, and you can tell right there, we did get a redemption out of this box. I'll slide that to the back to show you guys last. Anthony Rizzo, Refractor. These look really nice. Yeah, this year. I mean, you can beautiful. tell they're like really they're shiny. They're beautiful, yeah. Um, that's numbered out of 571. Yeah, if you're a player collector, you definitely want to get your hands on those uh, Refractor Chromes if you if the guy that you collect is in that set. So We got a Pete Alonzo Action Variation. This Keston Huria SP that I decided to top loader for I don't know why. We actually pulled a Keston Huria Mini as well, and these are numbered out of 100. So pretty good hit there too. These those, are pretty hard to pull. Yeah, so. those sell really well. Um, and then the big card that we got, Southern Redemption, 
we've gotten a couple other Heritage Redemptions before. One was like okay, and then this one was pretty good. And then, and then we got the one that was, one was super good. good. So you can see that a real one dual autograph. This is a one in every six thousand four hundred and something <laughs> yeah. per pack pull. I to mean, get a dual, yeah. Um, and we got a PC one. So Carl Yastrzemski and Andrew Benintendi dual auto. This should be numbered out of twenty five. Um, and it'll look. It's if you look it up, um, it'll be like one of these cards, except flip this way with the, each player on each side, the writing at the top, and then both their autos. So. Should be a really, really sweet card to yeah, get when it comes Yeah, they're usually in. always hand-numbered, hand so that is a really cool card. Uh, very psyched about that. A lot of autos you get in here are, eh, they're, they're okay, and some of them are really good, but to get a duel is really tough, so we were just happy to pull that and a PC one on top of it. Yeah, so now it's time to open up some Heritage Retail. Got this stuff from eBay, so here are the odds on these value packs. Go and get into this. Normally, Heritage, um, the blasters are where it's at. Seems like in the past, you can definitely hit good things out of the value packs and stuff too. It's just a little more difficult. Seems that it is out yeah, of the blasters. So we've done well out of blasters for sure. Um, I'd say if we had to spend our money on retail and you could only give us one product to choose, definitely be a blaster. You know, one interesting thing to could do some just a base. We got a then and now. That's actually kind of a hard pull goal. for. Yeah, they're not easy. <laughs> There's only what one or two in a hobby box. Yeah, Tanaka. Base, Pujols, Garver. You know, check this and make sure there's no SPs. But other than that, just like that one insert, it's pretty bad. So. You want to open up a I'll hanger open up box? Open a hanger too. Yeah. I'll let you check those. Um. You know, these are what you're looking for in here. Limited Tops 1971 Baseball Tattoos, um, as well as Autos, Relics, Chromes, all that good stuff. So we'll go ahead and get into this and see these have been pretty, like kind of like the worst retail thing in the past when we've opened. We've opened up, we have quite a bit of experience with Heritage Retail. Been opening it for a while now. Um, and by quite a bit of it too. And it seems like the blasters are usually the best. And we don't really don't buy much of the other ones just because they're usually pretty tough. Yeah, because so. blasters you usually get three um, short prints per box, and that's pretty pretty good. Anderson Springer. Yeah, you, know, you opened up some of these earlier today. Do you get like a tattoo in every box? No. Or? Well, not the one. No, not the one we uh, opened up. No. Is there some? Oh, it's a ooh chrome. That's, that's actually cool. a really good. Uh, a really tough pull. That's a white chrome. <laughs> yeah, it's a white that's chrome. That's out of 50. That's a tough pull. Or 71, I mean. Dang. So that's one in every 219 packs. Hanger boxes. Hanger boxes, right. That's 219. So, that's like over $2,000 in hanger boxes to get a white yeah. chrome. Not a huge name. No, but no, but still. Name, it's a beautiful card. This wow. Like sweet. It's a beautiful. Huh. Yeah, those are cool. So. There's our first white chrome yeah. of the year, so that's a nice hit out of Heritage Retail for sure. Shout out to our friend JT, JT Pack Pack Breaks. Go check out his channel. He also pulled one of those. I won't tell you who he pulled, but or not. Yeah. Aquino. Those are cool. McCann, Mustakis, Eaton, Irvin, Cooper, and Tiasca Hernandez. So that was a good start to that retail rip right so there. So now you can make all your comments you want about us saying how bad hanger boxes are. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Just but, called him out for being bad yep. and hit probably the best card. Definitely will be, well, I didn't say definitely. Hope, well, not hopefully either. Most likely will be the best card out of this break. Um, I would hope there would be something better, but that, it's going to be kind of hard to it's beat. It's going to be hard to beat that one. I mean, we've opened up six hobby boxes and haven't hit one of those. You know, they're just tough. Now, retail, you cannot get certain things. Like, you cannot get action. Um, yeah, there's certain hobby exclusives. Variations that you cannot get. Um, you can get, I think you can get throwbacks still. Yep. And, of course, autographs. We've pulled some halfway decent autographs out of retail. Victor Robles one time. Um, we got another, we got like another rookie one. I don't remember who else. We've never hit anybody like huge, but that's an SP, I'm pretty sure. Marisnik? No. Yeah. It's not. Huh. It looks weird though, doesn't it? Yeah, it's probably just a... It's one of those. 
So I'm trying to see like if there's probably an SP in there. Just don't keep. I'll just look through them. Yeah, because th there's no insert or anything. So I wonder if we missed something out of that one. Probably an SP. Well, maybe not. It's a. It is a five dollar pack. So seems like you almost always get something out of those, though. So here we go with the second hanger box. Once again. Yeah, it was Hunter Dozier. Okay, Hunter Dozier SP. And another white chrome. <laughs> yes, yeah, get another white chrome, two for two white chrome. I saw when you were opening the pack, I was like, that looks like there's something white, yeah, but I thought like, it was kind of an insert. Or I, something. I thought it was gonna be like I thought it was gonna be one of those tattoo things. That's what I thought. It, oh right. You know, it was like that white background. I thought it was gonna be like a peel apart sticker thing or something. I don't know. Can you get the tattoos in the yeah. hangers as well? Okay. Yeah, so I showed on the camera that there's like it says on the top, look for limited. Right. I knew they were in the and blasters. Exclusive 1971 tops baseball tattoos. There's that Marisnik again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tanaka, Pujols. Here's a new age performers. Tim Anderson. And I'm guessing that's all we're going to get out of this box. Yeah, those are tough. So that's why I said they are very tough in the beginning, the hangers, because one out of every two boxes is going to have a short print, and then your odds after that are pretty tough to get anything. So got to buy a lot of them to try to get something. But you do get a lot of base cards. Um, yeah, which is cool. Um, but I still think the blasters are better. Just from... What did we hit out a high number? We got a triple relic or like quad relic or yeah, something? Yeah, we did. We got a quad. I think it was a quad, but... I think it was a triple. Oh, triple maybe. It was... It, I think it was like $80 card or something. Yeah, that's cool. They have the bazooka ones, I'm pretty sure, again this year as well. Now you can look at the odds on the blaster once. See once what's in these. So, yeah. <clears throat> Just in case you want to look at them. All right, so nine cards in the blaster packs, just like hobby. Yep, and eight packs a box. You're looking at, you usually you get three, sometimes you get two. It just depends. Um, short prints. So. I'm trying to see if there's any uh, short prints there. I'll throw them. If they are, they're not in the same spot. There's a Brandon McKay. I bet that was just a base pack. There's yeah, there's usually a couple blasters. of them in a blaster. So short print should fall one every three packs in these blasters. We'll see if that's the case. Yeah, and so you're roughly going to get two to three. Sometimes you get three, sometimes you get two. I'm pretty sure Chapman is a SP. Yep, that is 468. Garrett Cooper, Hernandez, Edmund, and Pagan. So, of course, the blasters will run you 20 bucks. Hangers, 10 or 11, 10, 11. And then the fat packs run you about five to six, depending on yeah. where you're buying them at. Here's an insert here. Look at that one. Intel changes the future of computing. Pretty cool. I like those flashback cards. That's that was cool. interesting. All right, one, what do I have, one more pack? Yeah. Yeah. Last pack, and then Luke will take over, see if he can pull anything out of the last half of this blaster box. Did I miss something there? I don't think so. Probably just a base pack. I'll look through it. You don't have to yeah. bore people with that. There's the rookies of the Padres. Actually, you get to look through it. I get look to look through it. Boy. Yeah, you, you're you making me do double work here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Blasters, it seems like there's a lot of relics, too, in these. They're pretty easy to pull. Um, I wouldn't be too surprised if we got a relic out of a blaster. I did not see anything there. Cam Gallagher, Christian Walker, SP. There is one, Christian Walker. So Another high number SP. Tom Murphy. All right. Let's see, maybe we can hit a nice chrome or something. That'd be cool. That'd really be what I'd be looking for is like a nice chrome or a chrome refractor. That'd be really cool. 
candlestick park. Yeah, and we did last year. We did really well we so at retail chrome with chromes and chrome refractors. Retail was really good to us, and I'm hoping that this year is the same way, because it does seem like that there was a lot of value in in retail last year. Andrew Miller, Victor Caratini, Ross Stripling. Let you double check that, but I'm pretty sure there wasn't anything in there. So last pack. Time to see. It doesn't look like a chrome or anything. Heasley, Tommy LaStella. I think that's David Dahl's an SP. Yep. Yeah, so just three SPs in that blaster. Nothing too crazy. Um, we've opened up a lot of blasters in the past. It seems like there's probably four blasters in a 16-box case where you get just three SPs, a couple inserts. Yeah, so. that's not uncommon. I would say at least that. I'd say maybe like four to five boxes. Definitely best card came out hanger box at Scott Kingery white chrome looks totally like really really cool. Yeah, those are totally those awesome. are really cool nice card. looking cards. Number um, to seventy five, right? Yeah, seventy one. Yeah. Well, seventy one. Oh, yeah, to the, the year. year, right? Yep. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you like that recap and the retail break. Uh, be on the lookout for retail at your uh, local stores. We have not found it yet. Uh, today is Thursday, the day after release. We didn't see any yet, but I'm sure it'll be out probably Friday, Saturday. So um, if you maybe have found it in your stores, let us know in the comments below if you found it. And uh, we'd like to hear from you. So thanks for watching, guys. Once again, please like, comment, subscribe. Take care. Have fun collecting. We'll see you in the next break.